Yo, this is BJ Gador with Men's Health, and today I want you to try the Batwing Row Series to really help develop the posterior deltoid, which for many is the missing ingredient in a more developed upper body and also true performance on movements like pull ups, presses, push ups. This is a movement you want to always hit and hit often. So, here's what we got. I'm gonna show you the classic version, and there's two different ways that people will do this. I like to elevate and support the chest. That slight incline allows you to better keep the shoulders down. Also takes the lower back out of the equation so we can do higher reps, and it makes a lot of sense to do this. Typically, people will tell you, you wanna save your isolation movements towards the end of your workout. When it comes to this movement, I like to do it in the beginning, because not only does it warm up, all these different muscles that you want to be activated and involved in your heavy work to come, but to make sure that when we're fresh, we train what's most important, especially leg and body parts like the rear delt. So, best, most accessible way is palms facing. Start with a light pair of five to 10 pound dumbbells, pull the shoulders back. What you're gonna do is first row the weights, right to armpit level, get 90 degree bends and try to crack it up between your shoulder blades. And then you fully extend out with the arms straight, hold for a count and you can either bring the weights back in and return, or my favorite way is after I get out there, take a slow three to five eccentric where we're stronger to help our rear delt get used to heavier weights, and you keep cycling through that pattern. One second hold at each point, then three to five second lowerings. That palm facing grip is gonna get a little more involvement of your lateral delt. If you wanna get like true posterior deltoid, this is harder too. Go overhand grip, pull up, hold for a count, extend out, and then three to five second lowering. I'll even sometimes start with 10 to 15 reps in this position and then go to a stronger mechanical position here and then extend the set with palms facing. You could also, if you want, go underhand grip, which is gonna get more assistance from the biceps, but also a little more low mid trap, which helps keep the shoulders depressed so we don't shrug too much. Another great option, but I'd recommend starting your next upper body workout. Dedicate four to six weeks where this becomes what you start with for three to five sets of 10 to 15 repetitions, owning each position for a count, good hold, nice, good eccentric portion of that exercise. And I guarantee you'll add some mass to that rear shoulder. Your shoulders will feel better and it'll help set the stage for gains in all your other upper body movements. Give it a shot.